so I am live now, and now we want to go and see. I should come up here. Do this video. There's nobody on the right one person. Should be the papers right here. Yep. And it's just really, you don't need that part right here at all. You won't need the computer at all. I'll need it more than you if I want to answer somebody's comment. Hi, Judy. How are you this morning? Okay. I'll be getting started in just a minute. Let me turn the volume off on this. Let me mute this. Okay. Good morning. How is everybody doing? Well, good afternoon. It is three. It is noon. Um, and then Mr. Green, you'll just write down the numbers when I, um, hi, Krista, how are you? So I'm having a little bit of help today. My husband is helping. I know a lot of people want to know an update. Yeah, I'm pretty good too. Let me put my phone away. So as everybody can tell today, the thing is animals. Animals, animals, animals. The animals has gone. They're all over the table here. All kind of animals. Everything from monkeys to dogs to chickens, if you want to call a chicken. We have some elephants, some kitty cats, squirrels, cows, a little bit of everything. And um, just a little run through of the rules. Um, I'll hold up a number. Well, I'll show a price. After I show the price, I'll say a number. And in order to claim that item, all you do is, um, if you're the first one to put that number down, you're the one that will uh, get that. Hi, Sue. How are you? And I'll be sure, Sue, to give you a credit. I still I have it written down. I put a note on the top of my paper. So you're doing great today. Good, 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 good. Um, I was going to wait for just a few. Hi, Robin. How are you? I was going to wait for a few more people, but I'll give a little update now, and then I'll give an update um, after a few more people get on. Alyssa did have the baby on Thursday. Uh, it's a little boy, and his name is Micah, and he was seven pounds and eight ounces and 21 inches long, so we were real proud of that. I'm going to show you a picture on my cell phone. A little bit later. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it, but I will. And I don't know how to go in and insert pictures and stuff. I'm not that that tabby, you know, that that text savvy. So what we're going to do then, thank you, Judy. We're gonna go in and get started. And like I say, the theme is animals. And if you're new and this is your first time shopping with us, if you would um hi Victoria. If you would send me your information if you're new. And then also for everyone that purchases, I am going to be putting your name in for a drawing for free shipping. Also, I will do, I'm going to do two drawings today. One just to say thanks everybody for joining me. And one, um, one for Alyssa since she's not here with us. Uh, so again, so everybody that's on will get one free entry. So everybody will get one free entry that's on. And then um, for every purchase, you will get one, you'll get a one entry per person for the um, Mr. Green, could you get me a, you can get that um, one of those containers right over there so I can write people's name, uh, put them in there. Victoria. And Judy, oh, that's why you will need the thing so you can see the people's name when they're purchasing, so you can put their names in the uh, for the drawing. Okay, I think those all oh, Sue. I didn't put Sue's name in. Sue. Okay, so this will be the first entry you have that I'm putting in now. Then I'm going to reach these over here to my husband. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. You can turn that computer around. 
Okay, now we're ready to get started. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? What are we gonna start with? What are we gonna start with? What animal shall I start with? What do y'all want me to start with? Cats, dogs, cows, squirrels, pigs. Let's see. Yeah, I have Judy, Dr. Got Sue, Krista. Rebecca. I don't have Rebecca. I'm very excited today. I'm going to see my only child for the first time. Oh, wow, that is exciting. Well, we got, I did get a chance to hold the baby the other night. Okay, so nobody put a, oh, squirrels. Okay, that's great. We'll do two squirrels starting off. We had this, uh, these cute, cute little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. And if y'all notice my background's a little different. I am at Alyssa's house today doing this live. So we have these little squirrel salt and pepper shakers. They do have their stoppers in it. I don't think they're old. I'm not really sure, but they're, they're very cute. They're about three inches tall. And you know what? I'm not gonna be able to keep up with, with holding up numbers today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say a number and, and the price. So this little pair of squirrels is $4 today and it is number two. This is number two, a pair of squirrels and they are $4. They are $4, $4 squirrels, number two. Uh, look like Sue got those first. Sue. Okay. Let's get another squirrel out. Miss Green, can you hand me that squirrel right there? Yes, thank you. So we got this squirrel here. And I'll show you the markings on the back. It is by Homeco. Masterpiece Collection is by Home Co. And it is 1982, I believe is what it says. And it's made in Mexico. And I did not bring my ruler, but I would say this is about six inches tall and about six inches wide. There are no chips, cracks, or anything like that. There's a lot of detail on him. Let me see if I have these numbers. Let me see if I have some numbers already made. Yeah, let me, oh, you know what? Hold on, just a minute. I forgot. I knew I was going to be unorganized. So what I did was I did put them in order. So I will be able to hold up some tickets. Okay. This little squirrel is number 17 and it's $10. And it's by Home Co. So that's number 17 and it's the home coast squirrel and it is $10. So let's put uh, Rebecca. Okay. I have you down. Let me write your name on that. And then Mr. Green, if you would put their names in again for the people that are making a purchase. Okay. What's next? What's next? Let's see. These are cute. They'll make you laugh. It's a set of cow salt and, sh and pepper shakers. And these are, let me show you the label, the markings on the bottom. But they're very kitschy looking. I would say from the late 50s, early 60s or something. And according to, this is what I had them for at my booth. But today, this set of squirrels is only, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's $8 for the pair and it is number 20, it is 20, number 24 for this pair of squirrel um, cows. I don't know why I'm hooked on squirrels. <laughs> so 
So this little pair here is eight dollars. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this is cute. This is cute. These are not all these ones here, but it's a salt and pepper shaker. It's a hen on the egg, on the nest, or in a basket. This is the salt shaker, and this is the pepper. And there's no markings or anything on it, but they're cute. And I do have two sets of these, so if you would like these, this set is eight dollars it is eight dollars and it is number hold on just a minute they're number 14. they're number 14 but these are really cute that's the uh pepper has a stopper the hen actually is the salt and that's just so that's number 14 and it is $8. Break. And then what you can do is read it right. Thank you and type, type, thank you in the little chat thing. And that way, you know, it'll show that the person. This is cute right here. I haven't had a chance to clean this up. But this, I mean, this is, um, I forgot the name of the pottery company. But it's the cutest little deer. You'll take the cows, was it 24? Let's see, the cows were number 24. Yes, they were. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy B. Do you remember how much I put on those, Mr. Green? Oh, oh well, I'm actually the price is right there, eight dollars. <laughs> okay. So this little deer here doesn't have a whole lot of color on them. This here is just uh, dust, which I'll get that cleaned off. And this is ten dollars. Hold on just a minute. This is ten dollars, and it is number thirteen for this. I mean, this is so cute, and this is about um, almost seven inches tall to the top of the ears. And I don't believe there are any chips or anything on it. You'll send my send me the information. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's go. This is cute. I do have the stopper. This is a bank. Look at that painting. It's hand painted. And it was hand painted in Portugal. And I imagine maybe in 2012, I'm not really sure of why that number 12 is on there. And I do have the bot the stopper for him. And actually he's got a long slot, so I don't know what type of money is that long, what type of coins are that long. But the painting is really, really nice on him. And there are no chips, cracks, or anything like that. And this I this is twelve dollars, and it is number five. It's twelve dollars, and it's number five. Let me show you the bottom of that one more time, in case you missed that. Oh, there is a little chip on that. There's a little. It's really not a chip. The paint is missing right there. Right there and right there's a little chip, a little, well, the paint is like nicked off, it's the paint that's gone. So that's number five and it is $12. And remember, I do go back and do a recap at the end of the show. 
Okay, what's next? Let's do this one right here. These right here. These are cute. They're little frogs and they're salt and pepper shakers. And let me show you the bottom. I don't know if you really can read it. It says on the bottom, I have no idea. But they're made, Japan is actually stamped on it right there. It's actually engraved in there. So, and I'm really not sure of the writing on the bottom. I'll show it to you on the bottom of that one to see if that'll help. We'll turn it this way. And this pair here is $12 and it is number three for the pair of frogs, frog salt and pepper shakers. Okay. So we've done about maybe five or six items. I'm going to do some of the little golden books and now, and all of the books today are animal themed. And how I do the little golden books, I do not hold the number up. All of them are $3 unless I say otherwise. And you'll just put the name of the one that you would like. Okay. Let me get a few more down. We'll start with this Bambi. Bambi little golden books and it's in great shape so if you would like this this is three dollars and you just put the word bambi down this particular one this was first copyrighted in 1948 it was put out in this one here it does not have the okay this printing right here is the 50th printing and it's 1981 okay angelica Tra um Treasures. Thank you. Vintage treasures. Thank oh no. Susan got it first. Susan. Let me write to her name on this one. Thank you, Susan. And thanks, Angelica. And I, I don't know if you heard. Um, we are going to, we're doing a drawing, two drawings today. One is for free shipping, and the other one that's for people that purchase, and also for anybody that joined us today, we're gonna do a free drawing. We're gonna do a drawing for a gift. Okay, the next book I have, let me check the condition of this one. Okay, it looks pretty on the inside. We have 101 Dalmatians. Debbie, I hope you're not in pain today. Oh, I did hear that you have been having some pain, some, some issues. So hopefully you feel great today. So 101 Dalmatians. This isn't a little golden book, but it's the same type. This is Rand McNally Publishers, and this is the ABC Animals. Okay, uh, let me put your name on that one there. Angelica Treasures, Vintage Treasures. Okay, on the 101 Dalmatians. I have your name on that and thank you. Uh huh. This is the ABC animal book. Okay, Susan. Susan, did you get your package yet? Susan beat Rebecca. Okay, let's go to another little golden book. Country Mouse, City Mouse. It's in really good shape. And this one here, this was copyrighted 1961. Still not trying well wishes. Took it a minute to do it. Oh, wow. So. Mouse. Okay, Rebecca, you have it. Uh, 
Okay, put your name on that one. I picked up a really neat one. Do I bring it out here today? I thought I did. I don't know. I'll find it. Okay, we have the little baby animals. This is one of the Junior Elf books by Rand, Rand McNally. And I love the pictures and stuff in this one. Uh, what's the date on this one? That's the inside first page. Okay, Rebecca. We have you down for that. We'll do about 10 like we did, and then we'll go back to the other items. Okay, I'm still going to do $3 on this one, even though it's missing the back cover, because the graphics is so good in this one, and it would be great for junk journaling. No, I'm sorry. I can't do it. This one would be too... Susan got the baby. Susan beat them. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Susan did. I, I thank you. I need y'all to keep me straight. If I knew how to do mod, make moderators and so forth, I would, but I really can't figure it out unless I'm on my laptop. Yeah, so Susan instead of. Uh huh. This one here, because of the condition, I just opened it. I know this one is just a dollar, just in case I wanted just to do um, journaling and stuff with it. But the cover is good. Laying in the hospital on my back shopping. Oh, that's where Alyssa is today. Um, initially, she thought she was coming home today with the baby, but they're having to stay an extra day. So this one here, the Jolly Barnyard Animals, would end up being a dollar. So let me make a note of that so I don't. Okay. The Little Red Hen. This is a newer one. It does have um, who the book belonged to. They received it in 2007. For um, this was the first baby's first Thanksgiving, but the book is in mint shape. It's no, you know. Thank you. I, I'll be praying for you too as well, Debbie. So this is the red, the little red hen. This is the oh, uh, this one right here. The plump pig. Who's heard of this? I've never heard of this particular one. The, the graphics in it is really good, but it does have pencil marks on it. But look at the cover of that. Oh, Susan, Susan, okay, so you're getting it quicker than I am. Okay, so we have about three more to do, I believe, with the little golden books. Well, I know all of them aren't little golden books, but I, I call them that. This is the Bouncing Bear, a, a nursery rhyme. Very, very nice. Uh, be very good for junk journaling. Or, um, and this is an older one, because you can tell because some of the pages. This is a chair. The bear is, okay, Rebecca, right? Yeah, okay, Rebecca had that one. Do one more and then we will uh, go back to some other items. I have another version of uh, 101 Dalmatians.
And this one is in great shape. Um, what year was this one? Published from Missions, it doesn't say. But there's no marks or anything in this book. It's in really good shape. What's that on there? Final Thumper. Yeah. Okay, so we can lay that one back down there. Okay, what animal would you, okay, I'll put your name on that. Thank you, Debbie. Angelic Vintage Treasures. Okay, let's see. Let's, ooh, this is cute. This is, this is nice. And I'll show you the label, but I'm quite sure everyone recognizes Jim Shore. This is Terry, is the, um, you're welcome. Okay, and this one, the name of the dog is Terry and it's item number 400, just in case somebody's into the numbers, 4852. And it was put out in 2005 by Jim Shore. And he's about six inches tall. His paint is in really, really good shape. He does have one little scrape on his tail where a little bit of the paint is missing, but the colors is really, really good on it. And this is $15. It's $15 and it's item number 46. It's $15 for the Jim Shore little dog and it is item number 46. And let's go with this right here. It's close to me. This cute little kitty cat. It's about two and a half inches tall. Let me feel it good. He does have a little teeny nick on his ear. You probably cannot see it. It's very small, but it is there. More so than seeing it, I can feel it. Uh, Padoodle Jolly Book, a dollar. Oh, okay, you put that down, okay. So, and this here, because it is. I don't think I saw, oh. But Susan, oh, Susan claimed it. Okay. I did not know that. I'll put her name on this one. This one here, Susan. And this little cat, did I show you the price? Hi. Hi, Janet. Thanks for joining us. This is $3 and it's number 45 for this cute little kitten. There's no marks. I'm quite sure this was like a hobbyist piece. Looking at the bottom, it does have someone's initials on it. And Sue had this one, okay? Sue. And Sue, I do have you down for your credit. $3. Let's do another cat. We're gonna do about three cats. And then we'll do some dogs to be fair. This little Persian kitten. Oh, Rebecca. Okay, Sue already have it. Thank you. We have this little Persian kitten here. And again, there's no markings on it or anything. Make sure there's nothing up under that piece of this here. This is probably another hobbyist piece. And this is, get this down. This is $5 and it is number 39. It's number 39 and it's $5. And he's about, well, oh, she, about five inches, almost five inches. And I'll show you up close to the face. 
No, that's not a chip. And that's the bottom. There's no marks. Okay, I see another cat here. This is just a um, little inexpensive cat, but I thought it was nice because you barely find them where the little flowers and everything are still all intact. And this is about five inches tall and maybe about four inches wide. Um, it's just made in China. It is an older piece because you kind of can feel the difference in the type of um, pottery that it's made out of. And this little cat is $5. And it's number 16. It's number 16. Okay, so now the dogs have started to bark because they want equal time. So we have this adorable little, I think it looks like maybe a cocker spaniel maybe, but look at them eyes. It is a hand painted, um, I, I would believe a hobbyist piece, yeah. It was painted in 1987 by, uh, AB is the initial. I, can get that on the I really cannot get that to show. But he's about, oh, maybe, yeah. He's about eight inches from this, from the tip of his little paw here to the tip of the tail. It's about eight inches. And he is $5. And this is number 15. That's number 15. And it's $5. Okay, uh, Rebecca, we have you down for that. Uh, number 15. Yeah. What else would you do? Where's another dog? Well, I don't see a dog, but I do see a, this little pig here. This is actually a tumbler, they call it. It's a, can you see that porgy? Tumbler. And it's by Fitz and Floyd. And it was from, it's in Roman numerals. And I didn't look it up previously. Maybe you know what that is. I'll be right back dropping off packages. Good. That's a good reason to go to the post office to drop off packages. So we see you when you get back, Janet. This is the front of him, and this is the back. And this is about four inches tall, I believe. Yeah, because the cards are five. So that's four inches tall. And it's got a little pig face. And this item here is five dollars. It's five dollars, and it's number twenty-one for the little pig tumbler by Fitz and Floyd. And while we're doing pigs, let's do this little set of pig salt and pepper shakers. It's like a pink pig. And if you're in Atlanta from that area, you know, every year a big thing at Christmas was the pink pig. Everybody would go downtown and see the pink pig. Okay, and in my booth, you can see I had $8 on it. And I went and got all my animals from my booth before I left. So it's a set of pink pigs. They're kind of small. He's about two inches laying down from the tail to the snout. And this one's about two inches standing tall. And this set is $5. Oops. And it's number 28 for the pig salt and pepper shakers. And they have a little red bow on. So that's the pig salt and pepper shakers. 
seen another pig. Oh. We have this um, vintage pig piggy bank. That's the front. That's where you put the coins. It is hollow. And I had looked this piece up too, but again, I left all my notes home. Do I have any mice? Yes, I'll, I'll show one next. I have a few mice. I'll show them next. And this little pig, piggy bank, is, I just didn't, I didn't do number 12. Is five dollars and it's number 12. That's five dollars and that's number 12. I'll show some mice and then plus I believe I have a, a one or two mouse books. Mice. Okay, here is some here. This is going to be a set of three little mice. This one here, this little one here, and this little one here. And what is the name of these? I tell you, I'm like drawing blanks today. This is the back of the lady mouse. He has on his little overalls and so do this one. And each one of these is about almost two inches tall. And they are like some type of resin. They're some type of resin. And this set of three mice is $5. And they're number 23. They're number 23. So that's the set of three mice. So we have those, and then we have this here. We have that one, and here's the bottom, and then I'll read it to you as well. This is a Beatrice Potter, number 23, Sue. Okay, Sue. Let me feel this because I thought I had chipped. I guess I didn't. No. And this is by Beatrice Potter. Um, it's the uh, tailor of Gloucester. And this was put out in 1996. And that's by Beatrice Potter. And that is $10 and it's number 26. And on his little books, he do have the title right there on those books. And he has this little spool of thread. And I'm not sure of what this is. is I guess it's his pen and pencil, his pen and ink maybe. And that's 26, number 26, and it is $10. Let me look real quick on the books and see if I have some mice books because I believe I did see one or two. Maybe I didn't. Uh, Rebecca, okay, you want that one? I'll put your name on that. Yes. A zebra, animal book. The goats. I could have sworn I had a mouse book with me. Oh, what is this one here? No, I don't have one. I thought I had a mouse book. You collect those. Okay. I okay, I do not have another mouse book, and I'm not sure if I have another mouse on the table, but I'll come across it if I do. Um, while we're on the Beatrice Potter ones, I also have this little one here. This is, I think it's Tomcat. Tom Kitten, 
And this is Beatrice Potter as well. You can see all these are signed through number pieces. And I cannot read the number on it, but this was 1996 as well. That so you can see the date on it. There you go. Pat, I got number 26. Oh, okay, you did. I'm sorry, that I'm sorry. Uh, Angelic Vintage Treasures. Yes. And this one here, you can see on the corner of that book, a little teeny, teeny bit is chipped off of that. So instead of this one being $10, this one will be $8. And this will be number 42. Hi, Carolyn. Thank you for joining us. We're over at Alyssa's doing this. She was supposed to come home from the hospital today, but they're gonna, she's going to wait and come home tomorrow. Okay. I have you down for that, Debbie. Number 42, $8. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this little guy here. This little teeny tiny bear, it's about maybe an inch and three quarters. I doubt if he's two inches. Maybe. Yes, or put, um, it does, I know who it is. And it does have a marking. It's, oh, it's Home Co. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes I can angle it right. So this little teeny bear here is $2.00. It's $2 and it is number 11. It's $2 and it's number 11. And why are we on little teeny things? Look at these right here. These are so cute. It's a lot of crazy on it, but it kind of adds character to it. This little bird here. You got this. Okay, Sue number 11. Thank you, Sue. This little pair of birds is actually salt and pepper shakers. They still have, well, have one cork inside. One cork is stuck up in there, and I honestly have not tried to get it out. They are marked Japan. So it's this little pair of birds. They do have some crazing on them. You can see that. But like I say, it almost like it adds a lot of character to them. And this little pair of salt and pepper shakers is $8. And it's number two. And it's like little birds, they're just waiting to be fed. Their little mouth is wide open. And these are about two inches, maybe two inches tall and two inches long. And they're $8, number two. Okay, let's switch up just a little bit. Let me show you this little girl here. And she's in the show today. Thank you. She's in the show today because she's a little girl, but it's Little Red Riding Hood, and that big bag of wolf is trying to get her. That's the front, and that's the back. And I'll show you the markings on the bottom. It says, Once Upon a Time, and they were put out in 1982. And they're made in, and she's made in Japan. And she's about four inches tall and maybe four and a half to five inches long in width. And this is item, I mean, this one is $15. It's $15 and it's number 34. It's $15, they're number 34.
Okay, I have you down for that, Krista. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Deb, Debbie, Krista beat you to that one. Thank you. Thank you on top of it. Let's do this cute little puppy. We have this adorable little puppy here. Look at those eyes. He's just content. He has his little bones, slight little smile on his face. I think, yeah, one of the little flowers, are, you know, is broken off there. This one here is in good shape, this flower, but this one is broken. It's a cute little puppy. And there are no markings on the bottom, by the way. And this is $3 and it's number seven. It's $3 and it's number seven. I have this piece of pottery. I don't know anything about this. I just picked it up today and I just thought it was cute. It's a little planter. This is the bottom. There's no markings or anything. I don't think it's a hobbyist piece because of the way it feels and it's done. It might be. But the paint is, um, I'm not so fast today. Number seven. Okay, I have you, I have it for you, Rebecca. Thank you. Number seven, Rebecca. But the glaze on it is so nice on this piece. It has like kind of that blue and brown. Um, and it was a, done in a white clay. The elephant is really glazed, very nice and everything. Lots of details on his eyes. And then it's kind of like a little bamboo on here on the design on the front of there. And this is about mm, four inches tall. So it'd be really nice. Yes, or it could, that's a great, it could be a pencil holder. Yeah, a pencil holder, a planter. Um, even wash it out really good, a toothbrush using it in your bathroom. So it's a lot of uses for this. And this piece here is $8. It's $8 and it's number 33 for the elephant planter. Okay, Krista, we'll put you down for that. Thank you. No, I'm sorry, Cindy. Cindy was the first one on that one. Let's do this one here. This is a white milk glass. It's not your traditional like hen on a... Um, basket or on a nest this one's a little bit deeper so i'm really not sure this could be maybe a sugar dish or something i'm really not sure and it is stamped avon it's marked avon on the bottom with the number three so it's deeper than your traditional and instead of a regular chicken, this looks more like a dove, maybe a pigeon. And then it has around the brim of it. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. It has like a little garland of flowers or leaves around for the base of that. And all together, this is about five inches tall. That's about five inches tall. And it is $12 and it's number 32. It's $12 and that's number 32. Okay. And while we're on the hens, I'll show you this one. Now this is more of a traditional type. You know, it's an oval shaped basket whereas the other one was round. And this is like a um, 
a cream color uh, off-white ceramic. It does have a Made in Japan sticker stamp on the back. It has a traditional basket weave all the way around. And this is the top of the little chicken or duck. Looking at the beak, it almost looks more like a, um, a duck versus a chicken. My husband said, it's a duck. Okay, so it's a duck on, a, on the basket. It is $10 and it's number four. I'm, yeah, $10 is number four. Hello, I'm new. I just subscribed. I like your channel. Thank you very much. And if you would like to purchase something, just let me know and uh, you just claim it by the number and then send me an email with your um, information on it, which is your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code. And I need that information because I do send actual uh, shipping rates when I calculate your, your invoice. And I thank you for joining us. So what was that? That was number that was ten dollars, and I believe I said number four. And if ever if you haven't did it, go and give me a thumbs up. I need all the duck. A duck is a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> okay. And while we're on that duck chicken thing, I have this little rooster here. And it's kind of a glaze. Uh, it's 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 ceramic, and it's glazed in almost an iridescent feel. I don't know if you can, you know. But he has a lot of little detail. All the flowers are in great shape. I don't feel any chipped cracks or broken off that um, flowers or anything. There's his little neck. There's no marks or anything on the bottom. And this is five dollars. And if it quacks like a duck, the one look like a duck, it must be a duck, okay? <laughs> That's number 44, and it's five dollars. And this is something here I could say, I don't know. I pulled out every animal I could find. We're gonna do a lot of Okay, Terry, number 44. Hi, Terry. I did get your email, but I haven't really had time to go back and look at the um, invoice. I don't know if you heard me say, but Alyssa did have the baby on Thursday. And she was supposed to come home today, but they're gonna, she's going to come home tomorrow. So I do have your name on that. And thank you. And then I will go back and look at your email and I will credit you whatever needs to be credited to get that right. Oh, okay. Where I was going next is we have this bag full of My Little Ponies, and I will hold them up. Some of them are in great shape. Some of them are not in such great shape. Like this one, excellent shape. His hair is good and everything, so we have that one, good shape. This one, good shape. This one, same thing, great condition. This one, they wanted to give him a little mohawk on the top. But overall, it's in the pony itself is in good shape. So I'm going to count them in just a minute. This is like a Pegasus. I think that's how you say it. The unicorn with wings like. It was late, but the news is wonderful. This one, they wanted him to have kind of a short haircut, and they've got some marks on him. Good shape. So what I'm going to do is count them in just a minute after I show you all of them. This one's hair is in great shape. And I know I did look up some of them and some of them are worth like, I think two of these I've seen was like 10 to 12. Some of them was a dollar. Some of them was I couldn't even find. So you're going to get all of these My Little Ponies. A, one little accessory. What a blessing, Grandma Pat. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to count these. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37,
13. So you get 14 of them. So 14 My Little Ponies. The price is $18 for all 14 of them, and that's $22. So that's a little bit more than a dollar for my little, for each one. Number 22. Number 22 is $18, My Little Pony. Like I said, a lot of these are in great shape. Okay, I have you down. Thank you. um vintage i mean angelic vintage treasures let me put all these back in this bag so i don't lose them and i may have a few more that fell out in the bottom of the bag but at least you'll get all of them that i mentioned okay that 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 let's do this this is kind of cute this will make you laugh we're going to do this fish. It says happy birthday. And this is by um, Catherine's collection. This is a little metal. Um, what would you call this? Like a little dog tag thing. It's metal. You can also hang it. It does have a hanger. So you could use it as an ornament. He's giving everybody kisses. And the color is good. This is like a metallic uh, glitter. It's gold glitter, kind of a teal colored glitter. The pink does have little hints of glitter. The birthday candle on the top. And I did see a lot of these. A lot of people are selling these on eBay. And Etsy. yeah, I seen some on Etsy too. My granddaughters love playing with those. If you, oh, okay. That's the only reason. See, I would have probably saved them because I have a six-year-old granddaughter. But she has probably tons of them. I don't know how many. A lot she has in my house. So this is $8, and it's number 41 for the Catherine's Collection Little Fish. And her lipstick is also red glitter. Pat, so wonderful. Congrats on the family. I listen to the baby. They're doing good. They're doing good. Initially, they were going to let her come home today about lunchtime, but the baby's name is Micah, but Micah has um, his sugar count is a little bit low, so they're giving him a little bit of extra, but they've almost totally weaned him off, so it's a possibility. They may even come home late this evening, but most likely it'll be tomorrow. Angelic like three. Oh, okay. I still got a pair of frogs showing the pepper, some pepper shit. Oh, okay. I'll get it when I go back. It's in the B41. What was 41? That's that birthday fish. Oh, birthday fish. Okay. CDB. I usually don't have any jewelry on, but since we were doing all animals, I did have a little pair of elephant earrings. They are pierced. It has like the fish hook type closing on it. They go in your ear. He has yellow feet. There's his little face. And they're about an inch, so they would hang down. They're not as long as the earrings I have on. But this little pair of elephant earrings. I do not have a tag for these made, a number. So they're number 101, and they're $3 for the earrings. And they are peers, and they're little elephants. And they're number 101. Congrats, <laughs> Carol and Mary said, congratulations, Grandpa. Here goes Stephen, too. 
You can't see her. I'm not zooming. I know. That's my son-in-law, the proud daddy. <laughs> He's on his way back to the hospital now. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, you can. It's your house. You can stay home. <laughs> um, hand me that little pig right there, Mr. Green. We have another little pig creamer. Now he does have, I think, I thought. I, I don't feel it now, but I think he has a chip on his ear. Maybe not. There's the label. So this is like, I always mess this up. Oh, to Gary. Oh, to Gary. It's really nice color and it's a, it's a uh, creamer or I would say it's a planter, but when I looked it up, it said it was a creamer. And so there's the original label and everything and there's on the bottom, your son-in-law. Hello, son-in-law, congrats. Which one? You're the only son-in-law here? <laughs> I have two son-in-laws, so he was wondering which one. Okay, so this little pig creamer, and I like it because if you can see, can you see how they have like little tiny texture, almost like little hairs on them? Carol said, go, you, hey, hey, daddy. Hey. Has a little curly tail. And I'm just trying to feel, because I could sworn. Maybe, I, maybe I was dreaming, I don't know. But anyway, it's this little pig. And it is eight dollars, and it's number thirty-five. Now these can be used. Okay, Terry, I have you down for that. I used to use these. Do I have any donkeys or horses? Yes, I do. I'll pull, let me show these since I started, then I'll do some donkeys. I think I have a few donkeys. I know I have at least one or two horses. Yeah, I see some. My bad came the other day, beautiful planner was broke. Oh no. You'll email me the picture. Okay. I was so worried about that because it was so fragile, but I thought I had really wrapped it well. It's this set of little deer. Like I said, I used to use these at Christmas and I used to change the ribbons out. They're brass and it is a set of two. And there are no marks or anything on it. And they're a little weighty and have the little hold the taper candles. They're $15 for the set. And it's number 48. So you get both deer. You get this one here and this one here. One has his head down and the other one has his head up. Um, horse, number 48 Hazel, thank you. I think you sent me your information, Hazel, but if you didn't, if you could send it to me at my uh, email is on the screen, your uh, name, your zip code, and your uh, PayPal email. Okay, where is that horse? It's a horse right behind there. You see that horse right there, Mr. Green? With the tan and cream color horse. Horse. Yeah, right there. That's one. And if you see any more horse, okay. We have this little horse here. It's kind of a kitschy look. You know, we got that whimsical. No marks or anything. 
He does have a teeny tiny little tiny chip or nick, a little flea bite. I mean, it's very, very little. But his look at his little cheeks. And he's happy. You can tell he's smiling. And he's about, let me see, looks like probably about five inches tall, probably. Yeah, about five and a half inches tall and probably about five inches long. And this little horse is $15 and it's number 49. Okay. So we have that. Then for donkeys, we have this set, kind of like a, a vintage felted set of donkeys. It's this little donkey here. Here's the face. And it's like a wool felt. I would think it's wool. It's no labels that tell me it's wool, but I, I think it's wool. It does have a little Japan sticker on them. So it's the mommy or daddy and the little baby. They have a little um, vel black velvet tail. I don't know a lot about these, but if I have to say, I would say they're from the 50s or even the 40s because the lot that I got these with, all of the other stuff was from the 40s and 50s. So I'm assuming they are the same. I really couldn't, um, you know, like I said, I really couldn't find a lot about him. And he's about six inches and it does stand. Yeah, he does stand. Then they have some little velvet flowers in his little um, sacks on his side. And this set is $18, which I think is a steal. And it's number 38. And then donkey. Terry, okay, I have you down for that. Terry, okay. We have this little donkey here. And in his saddlebags, they are salt and pepper shakers. And each one do still have its um, cork in the bottom. And now I'll take that out so I can turn it up to show you how he really looks. There's no nicks, cracks, or anything like that. And it is marked on the bottom. And this is number, let me get a number. It is $10 and it's number 37. It's number 37. And this is not a, a horse, but it kind of puts me in that feel of a horse. It is a brass camel. And he is quite heavy. Number 37, Terry. Okay, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Um, oh, I was talking about this. You say he's quite weighty. It is a camel. And he's about five inches long this way from his nose to the tail and probably about four, three and a half, four inches tall. Make sure he's standing. Yeah. He kind of want to lean to the side when he stands. He stands kind of funny, but it does stand. And since he's standing funny today, 
It's five dollars. And it is number 47. And again, I don't have any labels made for these, so I don't have any of the price range that I wanted to sell these already made. Rebecca, number 47. Thank you. Have this set of little dolphins. They're salt and pepper shakers. This item will be $2 for the set. And it is item number 102 for the dolphins. And there'll be $2 for the, a set of two dolphins salt and pepper shakers. this set here okay Rebecca number okay I'll put you down for that write your name right on there Rebecca and cross out that price and put two dollars then we have this unique set of turkey ones that would be great it's made out of I believe I had read up on this um it is like that uh, dark brown clay. And it's a set of turkeys. And you can see on my booth, I had $20 on them. I don't know if you can able to see that or not. But um, for today's show, they're $10 for the pair. And it's number eight. And he has great color on all on there and then across there are lots of color and this one has the same type and it's like a dark brown glaze on it uh it looked like susan was the first one susan number eight Yep. Okay. Almost finished. Let's, I'm going to finish cleaning off this little area here so I can set stuff over there. We have a little set of salt of duck, salt and pepper shakers. They're just a little inexpensive set. And this set here is um, $2 for the salt and pepper shakers. They're ducks. And this is item 103, and they're $2. Item 103, and they're $2. Sue, okay. Sue, $2, okay. I'm going to finish cleaning off this little area over here, and then I'm going to do a few little golden books, and then we'll have a few things after that. We have this black cocker spaniel. I think that's what type of dog it is, and it is a bank. But I think whoever used it probably used it more for decoration. There's the bottom label. And he's kind of big. It's about, it's about eight and a half inches tall. It's a ceramic and he's painted with kind of a black matte type paint. He has a cute little face. Right here. And it is a bike, just in case I forgot to mention that. And it is $10. And it's number 40. It's $10 and it's number 40.
since we had at least one little girl in the show, Terry, for number 40. Oh, I was ready to do a little boy. Victoria was first for the turkey. Who did we put on the turkey, Mr. Green? Turkey, Susan. Susan. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back and look at those numbers. Make a note to myself. Note turkeys. Is it Victoria or Susan? I'll look at that on the stuff. Since we have one little girl, we had to have one little boy. It's a little planter, be really cute in a little nursery. And it does have a tag on it. It is right in the middle, and but it looked like it was made by, um, what was that? The American Greetings. I think I wanna say that's what it's, it's cause it's had the Cleveland, Ohio and it, <clears throat> excuse me have Cleveland, Ohio on it and everything, which, and it has the Roman numeral, but it's in really great shape and he has his little puppy. And this little planter is $8, $8 and it's number 43. That's $8 number 43. And then we have another set of salt and pepper shakers. They're little cows. One has a, uh, a red ribbon with a red cowbell. The color's almost gone off of that. And then the other one has the blue with the little blue cowbell on him. This is the back. The colors are kind of worn off. There's no markings or anything on them. So this little set is $2. And it is number 104. And that is for the cows. Okay. Victoria was for number eight. Okay, we'll go back and check all the numbers. That was okay, yeah. Rebecca. Okay, let me put your name on those. Um, number 104, these little yeah, ducks. Yeah, Sue just popped up. Oh, I'm sorry. Sue. Sometimes it moves fast and I'll miss. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of little golden books and then we'll finish up on the last few items after we do these a few more little golden books. And again, the little golden books are $3.00. And to claim them, you just put um, the name of the book. Like this one is The Sleepy Book. It's by Margaret Wise Brown. And she did uh, uh, lots and lots of little golden books. She was very, very famous with the little golden books. This one does have the child's name on the inside. But over here is clean. And this one was put out in, what year? Uh, copyright 1948 was the first copyright. And this one was put out actually in, sometimes Little Golden Books does it, don't. Um, yeah. Okay, Rebecca, it does have one little mark. Can you see that little mark right there? Yeah. Then we have, this is a classic, How the Zebra Got His Stripes. And this is a newer book. This was a first put out in 2002, copyright 2002. The original, this is probably like the second printing because the original copy, um, book was published in 2001 of this particular book. So this is Zebra Susan.
this is a classic, which I'm quite sure I would love. To, okay, shop and do lunch. Um, three Billy Goat Gruff. So they're just styling, looking good. There's the inside, very good. Goat Susan. The next one is the Animal Quiz Book. And that looks pretty good on the inside to me. And there's no markings. This one was copyrighted in 1983. So is this, this couldn't be the first one. It says copyrighted in 1983. The illustrations were copyrighted in 1983. Rebecca got animals. Okay. Rebecca on that one. Okay. Oh, I did find, I knew I seen the title mouse someplace. We have this one, the lion and the mouse. <laughs> And this one is in Roman numerals, so I cannot tell you what is it, what year it came out. Really nice, nice graphics, it looks like them. Lion, okay. Thank you, Deb. Okay. I have this one now. This one will be more because this is one of the earlier little golden books here. A Day in the Jungle. Let me look back here and see if I can see that in the spine of the book. No. Yeah, we got lion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it says, do not turn down the page, Diane Myers. Put that little note in there. Now this one is more than three dollars. This one here is going to be ten dollars because this is one of the earlier ones. So this one would be ten dollars. Yeah, this one would be ten dollars for this one. So um, the first person I seen to put the name on it was Angela uh, Deb. Debbie. So do you still want this at ten dollars? So this one is 10 and the first choice, no to the, okay, there. Okay, so you do want it. Thank you. Um, Angelic Vintage yeah, Trips mm -hmm. at 10. I'll do a few more of the $3 ones. I think the other ones I have, I don't have many of these left that I brought with me that was animal. I guess I do. We'll do a few more and then I'm going to get back to the other stuff. This one here is um, I Know What a Farm Is. This is a Teletale book. So I, this is the first one of these I have pulled up. Um, let me see. This one, this page is kind of bent here. Okay. This one, the spine has tape on it. And what's unusual about this one is this book was put out in, let me see if I can find a date on it. Of course it's in uh, farm. This one is $3, but what I was gonna say is unusual about this one is that it does feature a little African-American little boy, which you don't see often. It does have a, um, this is kind of lifting up here. Can you see that little tear there? But other than that, I'm looking at all the pages. Okay. Okay. 
I think I've done about 10 of those. Okay. Let's get this little set here. We haven't done this one. Oh, you know what else I had with a mouse on it? Put some of the form. Yes. Uh huh. Had asked about a mouse. This little set here is the little mouse library. It has six mini books inside. And it does open. And the books are in like great, great shape. They're in great condition, all of the books. They're like new books. I mean, you know, they've barely been open probably. But you get um, my grandparents, my friends, my helpers, my home and family, my world, and my church. And they all come in this cute little house-shaped uh, book. So this set of books, The whole set of books is $18 for the set of, of uh, six books, and it is number 27. So they're $18 for the set of books, this box set of books. that we have this little um dog creamer and it's made in taiwan let's see if i can hold that up here oh i see and then plus it's engraved which i think somebody told me that was for anyway it was the early fitz and floyd stuff and this is item number, the price is $8, and it's number 18. Can you hand me that other white rabbit over there? I think what you can do is push this stuff closer to me. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, you could push it over here close to me or... Um, set it on this thing down here. Either way, this works. Okay, in that little music box. You can reach it to me. I'm going to try to get um, all of this stuff in without holding you too long. It's a music box. Okay. We may not get to all of this. I didn't realize I had put so much out. Okay. And definitely those little birds there. Yeah, if you could push those up. Because we got this cute set of bunny rabbits. Now, they do have some issues. Terry, number 18. Okay. What was number 18 in my mind? Oh, this right here. Yeah, Terry. Okay. Cream. Yes. Now these little bunnies, they're cute, but it, they do have some issues. But look at look at them faces. And look at he's just totally chilling. On him, what was wrong with him? He has a little chip on his ear. Where is it? Right there. And then this one here, and I did not notice this until I had, was, was home, really, when I was unpacking, that his ear has been broken off. But what I always do is glue some flowers around their ears when I notice one of the bunny's ears are broken off. But those faces, I guess that's why I didn't pay attention to it. So this set here, I don't have any more tickets. Okay. This set here is only $4, and it is item number 105. Yeah, they make you smile. They're happy. 
number 105 bunnies. And I think I said $4? Yeah. $4, yeah. They're number 104. 105. 105 for $4. But yeah, them faces on there. Look at, I mean, he's just as happy, Terry. Okay, thank you. Put your name on that. $4.105. Me down there. Then we have this music box. What's oh, Okay. And it has a pig and a donkey, a little lamb. And it's made in Taiwan, 1987. It's number 87, I mean, It is $18 and it's number 50. This is, let me show you that view. And it does revolve as it's playing the music. They have sweet, sweet, innocent looking faces and they're looking over the baby. So it's the little drummer boy is the song it's playing and that's the little drummer boy. And that was number 50 and it was $18. Then what I'm gonna do on these birds, I'm gonna offer these together as a set. That's, oh, here's two more of them. And I'm not sure of what these are made. It's like a hard plastic or Bakelite type stuff. So I'm not real, real sure. So let me see here. How many is it all together? Yeah. So you get this blue jay. Like I said, and it's like kind of a red, um, a hard plastic or maybe Bakelite. I'm not real sure what that is. Then you get this one here. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. You get this one, which is some type of little woodpecker. And on this one, his little uh, beak, I guess he pecked too hard, has been chipped off. But there is another one that's in mint shade. So you end up with two of those. Yep, that, ooh, ooh, that go with that set too. You end up with two of this one here. And then of this one here, this bird here is in great shape, no chip cracks or anything like that, but this one, his beak is missing. So it's a total of two, four, it's a total of seven. Five of them are in great shape. Two of them have issues. One of them really have an issue. His beak is totally gone. This one is just chipped just a little bit. And like I said, there are like a hard plastic, a bake light or something. I'm really not sure of what that is, what type of material this is. And this is item. I do not have a card for this one, but all seven of them would be $15. And it's item number 106. 106 and they're $15 for the set of seven. And I did find these online and they were saying like people selling like two of these for $10 and stuff. And they were made in Korea, I think it was. But they were really, they're, they're pretty birds. Okay, that's all of those. I'm trying to keep them together. Okay, Terry. Put your name on that. 
These next items, I'm just going to hold them up. These items will be $3 that I'm ready to hold up now. And you can just claim them with the name of what it is. And I'll put your name on them. Okay, we're going to start with this little dog here. I'm not sure I would call it a, uh, was like a Shizu or something. There's that little face. This is the bottom markings. It says Little Creations and it's by Lou Rankin and it was made for Hallmark in 1993. And this is $3. That's $3. Then we have this adorable little cat here. This is the marking Terry on the dog. Okay. Put your name on that. Terry. Okay. Cat Victoria. Thank you, Terry and Victoria. Okay, put that in there. We have um, this cute little, I guess this is a bear and a little mouse. And this is by Sunny Animals by Heartline. Victoria, you call it? Oh, no, that's for something else. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. On the dog, happy. Yeah, on that little dog. What did I do with it? I put the wrong name on that one. Happy and Hans. It's not Terry. Right, that's not Terry. If you look up, you'll see Happy's name before Terry. Happy and Hans. Yeah. Okay, Rebecca on this one. Rebecca, I have your name. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got that one. We have um, this little cat. And this is actually a little planter. So maybe a little air plant. And there's no markings on it, but it has a sweet, sweet face. Sue, okay, we have you. Another cat. Mm -hmm, another cat. Okay, now this one is kind of a bigger dog, but it's going to be a $3 dog as well. It's like that sand crab kind of stuff. And this is $3 as well. And I don't know what kind of dog that is. Terry? Okay. Put your name on that. And hold on. I got a couple more $3 things on here. We have um, this little cow here. And this is, um, I don't know what type of, I guess it's a ceramic and it is marked um, made in China, but it's a different kind of China stamp. And this will be $3 and this one is laying down. Rebecca. And then we also have the standing cow. And that one would be $3 as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry got the cow. Terry got the first one. Terry. So Rebecca, do you want the second cow that I held up? 
One is setting and one is standing. Yes. Okay, so I'll give this one to Rebecca. Okay. This elephant here, I will clean him up, but this will be $3. It is a bank. It's an elephant bank. I think that's all. Oh, one more thing I see. So this is an elephant bank. It's three dollars. Victoria, okay, I have you down for that. Thank you. Victoria. Mm -hmm. Oh, she beat. Oh, yep. Yeah. My husband's watching. He's telling me who. <laughs> Okay. Then my next, let's stick that there so it falls inside of that, come on. Okay, the next $3 item. No, that, not that. Not what I wanted. I guess that's, I guess that's it. Okay, that's it for my three dollar. Oh no, right here, right in front of my face. This little bird here. Terry, want the set of cows? You can have the one I got. Okay, okay, so that was very nice of you, Rebecca. I appreciate that. This little bird here. And I do have two. They're different, so I better do them as two different ones. Bird Susan. Susan. Okay, so that's... And then Susan, I also have this bird. They are different. Did you want both of them? They're $3 each. And then we have this one here. Just one, okay. So we have this one here available, that's $3. Okay, so we put that over there. While we're on birds, um, we have these here. And I'll do these for $3 as well. There are some very, very nice frame prints of birds. This one is a cardinal. And they're by Feathered Friends. And it's a little, uh, this one is a cardinal. And they're not a set, but they, because the frames are different, but they're very pretty together. And this one is a wren. Susan on the, yes, yeah, Susan on the Cardinal. Okay, then we have the Wren that's left. You want both? Okay, Susan. Okay. Clearing off my table. I just got a handful of stuff left. Three. Each. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, we have this cute pair of monkeys. Little salt and pepper shakers. There's the bottom. There's no marks or anything. He has his bananas guarding them between his legs and have one in his mouth. This one's like, I got one banana. I'm happy. And this set here, I had 15 on it in my booth. Let's see if I have an $8 tag left. I'll tell you, I'll do them for $6. And it's number 25 for the little monkeys. The stoppers are in both of them. How much? 
six dollars and that's six dollars for number 25 for the little monkeys okay i think what we got left just that little bit right there okay we have this Siamese cat bell and it is white porcelain. It's bone china. I don't know if I can hold that up for you to see or not. And it's 1990 by Inesco. And it's a cat. It's like a Siamese cat. This is $8. And it is number 107, Siamese Cat Bell. It's $8 and it's number 107. It is very, very pretty and it still has this little sticker on it and everything. And it's made in Taiwan, 1980. And we have this bird here. And this bird here is number 108 and he's $5. Bird 108. It's $5, number 108. Okay, put that on there so I don't lose that. Rebecca, okay. Oh, because I thought it had gotten lost. Okay, that, 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 that. I didn't do this little lamb, did I? It's a little lamb. It is a bank. And it's some type of resin. Has a stopper in the bottom. There's no markings or anything. But it's kind of textured. Ooh, ooh I'm going to have to grade it low because I don't got my battery getting low. Um, This little one right here is $5. And it's number 109 for the lamb. Lamb. Five dollars. Okay, so can you go get my cord for the thing for the? Okay, Sue, I have you down for that, mm -hmm. or you can bring yours. Either one. It has to be one of the long ones, though. Sue, number one oh nine, lamb. on the bottom right there really good what else do I have that I haven't shown did I show this I don't think so it's a cocker spaniel planter close if I go off y'all he went to get me a get me a charger but if I go off you know it's because my battery just died because I do have one more thing I want to show y'all so hopefully he'll get back before my battery dies um this little dog here is a planter. He is number, he's $20 and it's number 20. Okay, and then plug that in. Where's the plug in on this side? Okay, Terry, I have you down for that. Terry. That was number 20 and it was $20. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all one more thing and then that's gonna be it. But I forgot all about these, but these are so pretty. And I know someone has sent me some messages about these. They're little hand blown dogs and cats that I have. They're teeny tiny. 
you can see that. And this one still has this made in Japan label. And this one is long. This one's about two inches from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. And this one, these are gonna be $8 each unless I have some issues with them. If I see any broken pieces, cause I know some of them was broken. So they're gonna be $8 each. And this one would be D1. But they are so dainty and fragile. Victoria H. Victoria, okay. Then we have, make sure there's no cracks or this beautiful black one. He has kind of a white uh, beard there. Teeny tiny, I mean, really dainty little ears. I wish I could really get you to see the detail on those ears. This one would be D2. This is the bronze color. This one is D2 for the black one. This little nose is up, have such an attitude. Let me check this one out. And I think somebody, uh, when I looked it up, Victoria, okay. Uh, this one here, I believe with the Whippet. Is that what them dogs are called? Something like that. This one's like a jade green color. This one would be D3. I collected glass animals since I went and I haven't bought one in a long time. Yeah, this one is really cute too. I mean, they're just like, I don't know, they've got little eyes and nose painted on and everything. D3, Victoria. Sally. Huh? Sally oh, Sally the oh, I'm sorry, Sally. I am so sorry. I thought uh Sally. And Sally, if I don't have your information, if you would send it to me, my email is on there. Okay, I have your name on that one. Let me wrap around there perfectly. Um Okay, we have this little one here. This one is setting down. It's it's white and he have two black spots on him. But oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that tail off? Or is that the way? No, that's the way it's made. He has a little tail and he's black and white. And this one will be D4. And it's $8 and that's Tree, A S M E E. Okay, let me put your name on that. Did you add their names in for the draw? Uh huh. Okay, let me wrap that around there. Good. Okay. Uh, what is this one? <laughs> oh no, can't do that one. Either. Now this one right here. Yes, they're all glass. I believe they're hand blown and pulled. This is a teeny, 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 tiny little kitten. I don't know if you can be able to see that one. And you can see he has a little tail up. And this is about a half inch. He's white, he has black trim, but his little ears is a brown color. And this one would be C1, and it is $8. It's C1. Okay, feel that one. And this one is really a different one. I got Sally Cosa. Sally. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sally did. Okay. Tree one or two. So did Cindy. 
Okay, then we have, hold on. This one right here, I'm still gonna sell it, but I'm gonna reduce the price of this one and I'll show you why. It's a beautiful yellow one. He has his two front legs is good. His little tail is good. This foot over here is good, which is very hard to see. But this foot over here, you, I mean, only way I know it's broken because I can feel a rough spot. So the yellow dog will be D5 and this one will be $5. Like I said, the only reason I know it's broken because I can feel it, but it's almost no difference between the size of the feet, but I can feel that little chip on that, on the tip of that. So that one would be $5 instead of the $8. Okay, so let me put $5 on that so I don't get confused when I get there for that. Okay. And what else I have in here? Okay, let me feel that. I think something's missing off of there. Okay, what I'm going to do, because somebody else still may enjoy them. These last ones, I'm going to do, hi, Nancy, I didn't even see you come in. What I'm going to do on these last ones, I'm going to sell these as a set, okay? But each one do have some issues. We have this one here. And you can see he's missing a little leg. Part of his leg is missing. We have this one here. And... Same problem right there. The bottom half of his leg is missing. We have this one here, the bottom half of his leg and a little bit of his tail is missing. And then we have this one here, which is a little clear glass one. And I think his tail is missing. I think something's missing. Something ain't right, but he got his legs. So all three of those, that's D6, and it's only $3. And it'll, that picture fell off. If the leg is missing, just set them in a house plant grade. Well, they're $3. I mean, they're really pretty. And I mean, they could even hang on the side of a pot or something. You know, you could just kind of hang them on the side. So it's just $3 for the set of this four of them. And this blue one do still have his little label on it made in Japan. And that's the, really the prettiest one. Look at the ears and everything. And that was lot number D6 for $3 on that. Okay. So that is everything. Or did y'all want to see a few more books? I do have a few more books. So if you want a few more books, let me know. Um, I can show you a few more books before I do a quick run through of what's left. We don't have a lot left. $3, Rebecca. Okay. Okay. D6, Rebecca, I have you down. Yes. Okay. So did you want to, yes, see some more books? Okay. I'll do these books that I have. This isn't a book, but I had it laying down, um, down there with my books. It's uh, some Disney stationery from Hallmark. Inside, this, will be, this these are $3, everything that I'm showing now. You get the Disney paper, you get the Mickey paper. It has Mickey and Donald on that sheet. I guess he's on all, Mickey and Donald's on all of them. And then on the envelope is really cute. The envelopes have Mickey and Donald on the front, but it has Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie on the back. So that's $3 for that set. Disney, okay, I have you down. Let me write your name on it. Three dollars, yes. Okay, like that was over there with three dollars. Um, you want 
I want to, okay. Um, yeah, you want, I have your name on it, Debbie. We have Mrs. Duck's Lovely Day. This is one of the junior books. And these right here, this actually had belonged to my daughter. Well, my daughters, I used to put both of their names in it, Alyssa and Tiffany. So these was from like, you know, probably I got these in the early, mid eighties for them. Duck, uh, looked like Susan was first. Okay. A dinosaur lives in my house. And this one is 1988 Marvel Entertainment Group. Let's just put this one out. Okay. Oh, that's one pile. For some reason, this is not charging up. You know what? I'm gonna have to stop because for some reason I plugged it in, but my it, it's not charging because it's down to six percent. So what I'm going to do is go in and do the drawing. So if you look back over, you see something you want, um, you can always email me. So I don't know if it's this charger that's not charging. My husband is seeing it if it'll. I mean, I usually charge with this one. I don't think it made a difference. So what I'm going to do is go on and do our drawing real quick before we uh, finish off. So if you can hand me the um, basket right there. So the first drawing I'm going to do is going to be for the free shipping. So everybody's name is in here for free shipping. Uh-oh, two of them is together on that. I'm going to let him pick a name. Okay, it's 5%. It's 5%. You got one. Hold on. He's handing me the name. Rebecca. Free shipping for Rebecca. And then I'm going to draw a name real quick. So, Rebecca, you get free shipping. And for a free gift, it'll be Sue. So Sue gets a free gift in her box, a gift, and Rebecca gets the shipping. And thanks everybody, bye-bye. Oh, I wanna, hold on, I was gonna show you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it really. Um, let me go to my pictures real quick. My husband is trying one more thing. Go back. Here is a picture of the baby. I don't know. But that's a picture of Alyssa's baby and his name is Micah. So if you be sure, yeah, thank you, Nancy, for giving me a tell me give me a thumbs up. And also, Nancy, sometimes maybe if I if my husband can't help my daughter, if you could help moderate for me, I'd appreciate it. So that's the baby. And Alyssa was thinking she was gonna be back home today in time to help. But Anyway, thanks everybody and bye bye before my battery died. That's a first for me, but bye bye everybody. And thanks for joining me. Yeah, I think my battery's gone. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. I know I didn't.